Hey guys, Max Gatz here. In this video, I want to show you how to build an app that has pushed enabled. So let's create a very simple new app. And I'm gonna call this Push Me. And again, just notice I'm using the jQuery mobile app template. We'll click, uh, click Create. Now in just a few seconds, we're gonna have a brand new app. Now to keep it really simple, because we really wanna show the push part, we'll just change the caption here and we'll drop a label and we'll say here's a push here's a push message all right so something very simple and again that's enough to test the push capability all right um, and so let's save now we have to exit to enable push so let me show you how to do that so notice we're say, uh, still in this app. In general, I'm going to switch to push notifications and I'm going to click enable push. Now in this particular video, we will do Android. Now you do have to link it with the database and that's because when the app registers, you will create a record in the database. And then of course you can use that later to send push messages to only a particular user by searching the database. Now I already have a database, but you can always create a new one. We'll just use that. And it takes you to send a push message, but we still need to set a few things. So first, we're going to enable push sound and show alert. And now for Android, we need to set the sender ID and the API key. And for that, we're going to head to the Google Developer Console. So you do need to have an account, and we'll create a brand new project. I'm going to call this Apri.io Push 2 and click Create. Obviously, you can give any name you want. Right, so we're just going to take right here, it's creating the project for us. All right, and it just created a new project. Now we're going to go to APIs and we're going to search for messaging. Now you can see it says Android, so we're going to click here and we're going to say enable. So we're enabled um, the messaging for Android. And then we're going to go to credentials. We'll create a new key, a new API key. And it has to be a server key. All right. So now this is our API key. Let's get the entire key. Now the sender ID is if I go back to overview. So this project number is the sender ID. Right, and that's basically all you need to do. Now we do need to go back to the app and we need to launch the binary build. So let's go back to the app. And right here, export, and we're gonna select uh, for Android binary. Now this process usually takes about a minute uh, plus or minus and once uh, the binary build is done we will download the app and install it on the phone now once the build is done you'll see a page like this which you can scan with the QR bar code scanner and install the app on the device but let's quickly exit the app and we'll now send a message and I'll show you my Android phone screen we will go to push notifications now if I select Android, I already installed the app so you can see it says one here. I'm going to say hello from um, appri.io, click send. And if I now share my Android screen with you, you will see it's push me hello from appri.io. So I just received uh, a push message. You can also, if you go to scheduled and history, you can schedule push messages. But here you can see the history and it says this is the message and it was delivered to one device. So definitely give this a try. It's very simple to set up push for Android as in this video. Thanks for watching.